update video where I work on this Chainsaw Guy game for an additional 6 days, totaling an entire week. It appears you guys really want me to make the one week game after all. So, here's what's gonna go down. Instead of continuing the game like I said I would, I'm gonna make a whole new game because well, let's just say the old game isn't so great. You may also be wondering, where is the face cam? The truth is, while making last video, I kind of accidentally broke my tripod. So, yeah. Setting that aside though, I figured the best way to go about making this game was to livestream it all. So that's what I did. And for those of you wondering, yes, I did have breaks. And yes, I slept. And one last thing regarding the rules of the challenge, people in chat are allowed to help me. In fact, later on you will see that people in my chat actually did decide to help me. But now, it's time for day one. Day one. I started this stream by making the base framework of my game. Pause. This was my biggest mistake in the project, and it'll be a reoccurring problem that you'll see later on. I put zero planning on how I was actually gonna make this game. I just simply started, and that's something that you should never do. Anyways, I created an input handler for computer and mobile, because I guess I just like to discriminate against console. I also created a punch attack with an animation of very questionable quality. Oh yeah, it's, it's all coming together. <laughs> this is so bad. My animation skills are uh, less than desirable, let's just say. Uh, all right. What? <laughs> they banned me from making animations. My animation was so bad, they banned me. And to be honest, that's really all I did for day one. I worked only about two hours, so it was pretty good progress. But unfortunately, I had school the next day, and I was getting pretty tired. So I decided to hit the hay and pick up where I left on tomorrow. <coughs> Now, for day two, I did a little bit of what some people may call off-camera mining. Ah! If you don't know what that means, it's basically just doing work off-camera as popularized by Minecraft. That none of that matters. And now, the punch actually does damage, and it ragdolls people. However, the problem that I ran to for this day was actually finding a good ragdoll module. Because, as it turns out, most ragdoll modules, to politely are a steaming pile of poo poo. In the end, I ended up using my own ragdoll module, just slightly modified as there were some bugs with it that I may or may not have been ignoring for a while. That's unfortunately the sad truth about many of my projects and or modules. I'll release them in a kind of buggy state and if it works well enough for me, I tend to just never touch the project again. Luckily, the ragdoll module did not meet that fate as I finally updated it. That day, I also received my first ever super chat from user Jayzong for one whole dollar. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm rich. My chat also decided to start coming up with some interesting names for the characters. Yeah, don't spam with motorite saw gentlemen. By the end of the day, I was able to add blocking, but it was a little buggy. If I spam it, I can like make it glitch out. I don't even know how that's possible. Now we're stuck in a state of blocking. I again only worked for two hours this day, and now it was late. So I decided to get some rest and fix blocking the next day. Doom, 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 doom. Day three. On day three, I added particles, which look pretty good. One big oversight on this project, though, is that I never really added any sound. In my head, I was just thinking, well, I'll just add it at the end of the challenge. But let's just say it was a rather large change of plans, which you'll come to find out about. Anyways, today I went off on a little bit of a tangent. You see, I don't have the best animating skills, but I do know about the Roblox Live Animator. So, I thought, what if I use the Roblox Live Animation Editor, which only animates at R15, and just convert it into an R6 animation? Because 
that's what my game uses. The result of this was okay. Okay, wait. I gotta take a video. Shoot. Wait, where am I gonna where am I gonna take the video? Do I gotta stand on top of my bed? Will that work? Oh crap. What is that? Oh, of course. Random blanket. I mean that's hold on, I gotta like move it down a little bit. Okay. This could work. How about we like do like a punching animation? So I just do like uh um Yeah, there we go. But unfortunately it just wasn't gonna work out for my game. That's almost goaded though. That's almost goaded. But the problem is I don't got enough room in here to like actually make a good recording. I I don't know if this is it. So unfortunately, I gave up on that friend. So I basically just went back to work. And after fixing up some code, I was getting pretty bored. So I decided to test the current state of the game and duke it out with the viewers. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be so bad, I already know it. Oh yeah, there's... <laughs> You- I just realized you, um, you can't, like, go behind someone and just punch them. It's not gonna work. My- it's like Minecraft PvP. Oh, yeah. Yo, gang up on- ah! 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. No. Stop. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, I'm goaded. Oh, on mobile? I don't even know. Does it work on mobile? Beat him up, beat him up. Beat up not fried eggs. I'm cooking, guy, I'm cooking. This is straight up messed up. This is messed up, you fools. Yes, beat each other up. <laughs> Chainsaw man. PvP, bro. <laughs> this is, this is my Chainsaw man. PvP. After that, I decided I'd work some more until some viewer really caught my attention in the chat. Now, this person had a bone to pick with my skills as a scripter, and if you're gonna criticize me, that's fine. Hell, I encourage it. However, if you are gonna say that someone is bad at something, then at the very least, tell them what their flaws actually are. But that's not what this person wanted to talk about. They wanted to talk about packages? I'm just gonna tell you all now that your skill as a scripter is not determined by the tools that you use but rather by the code that you write and the way that you structure said code. Using a framework doesn't make you a better nor worse scripter. Now, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not trying to paint anyone as the villain. This tangent is rather a criticism to the lackluster criticism that was thrown at me and additionally, a guide on how to not criticize someone. But after all that though, I uh, decided to work on a dash mechanic. However, I had something to do that day. So let's move on to day four. <coughs> Day four. For day four, I started to actually work on the special moves, aka the part that, you know, actually makes this a Chainsaw Man game. As I had finally gotten all the base moves, i.e. punching, blocking, dashing, etc. done. For today, I again had to put my horrible animation skills to the test because I made a throw move and a knee swiping move. I think the whole idea for the knee swiping thing comes from the fact that Chainsaw Man can like extend chainsaws from his legs, but to be honest, uh, I'm just horrible at making move sets, and I figured that this would be an easier move to implement. Anyways, I also had the ability to become Chainsaw Man, which plays this cool animation that a viewer made and gives a slight amount of knockback to anyone nearby. It was also around this time that the aforementioned lack of planning was starting to catch up to me as I really just didn't know what to do with the game anymore. I once again tried playtesting the game with chat, but the combat system, it just felt way too clunky. Like, to be honest, it felt like it took a whole five years just to perform one move. My whole goal with this project was to make something that felt more polished than the 24 hour game, but to be honest, I wasn't even sure if that was a possibility anymore. <sighs> Before I drifted off to bed, I began to add the last move that I was going to add to the game. That being the grab move. Doo -loo 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 -loo. Day 5 On day 5, I made the grab move, but at this point, all I really was doing was 
playtesting with viewers, it was at this point into the project that I made the realization that I should have made long ago. For as simple as it seemed, making a Battlegrounds game in a week just wasn't gonna be possible. Sure, I could script, but there simply wasn't enough time for me to make a game that felt polished, and I also just lacked the required skill in all other departments such as sound design and animation to make a good game. But while writing this script, it made me think, why was I trying to do this in the first place? I mean, don't get me wrong, the last challenge video I made was a huge part of it. I mean, it's literally my most viewed video. But who was I trying to prove my game development skills to? You all? Surely not. There are so many of you who say I'm such a great scripter already, and I don't even know if I could have made it this far on YouTube without you all. So by the end of this day, I did the most unexpected and ironic thing I could have ever possibly done. I decided to remake the game again using Knit. Now, for those of you who are unaware, Knit is a Roblox game framework created by Sleepnik. And yes, it is the exact framework that the person in the chat bashed me about for not using. So, why did I do it? Why would I use something that I said makes you no better or no worse of a scripter. Well, it's because I'm a bit of a klutz. I clearly couldn't organize the mess of a game I created over these five days, and I paid the price for it. It was a huge oversight that I didn't know how I missed, but instead of ending this challenge with a lackluster game, I decided I could make something new out of it instead, which is the whole reason I am making the game again. But I need your help. I can't make this game alone. So if you'd like to help in the development of this game, then I beg that you join my Discord server, linked in the description. But now it's time for the final two days. Day six and seven. For these two days, I worked tirelessly to restructure the game in the knit framework. I got pretty far, but I'm sure it's obvious to you all that I'm not gonna restructure and create a Battlegrounds game in two days, especially if I couldn't do it in a week. As I write this script almost a month later after I streamed those seven days, I still continue to work on the project. It's not perfect, but I'm trying my very hardest to make something fun and enjoyable for people to play. Because in the end, I too want to make an impact on at least someone's life. But with that, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in perhaps some form of a devlog.